honored but willing to accept the challenge. As everyone knows, Kansas has a great basketball heritage and it will be our constant effort to enrich and enhance this tradition. Basketball is king again as the 1957 edition of the Kansas Jayhawkers opens the home season in Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence. Kansas in white uniforms comes up against Northwestern's highly regarded Wildcats from the Big Ten. Working together for the first time are coaches Dick Harp, Jerry Waugh, and Jack Eskridge. The fabulous Philadelphia sophomore banks in a bucket off KU's famous out-of-bounds play. Here's Chamberlain cramming a backhand dunk on a looping pass from Lineski. It's a record 52-point night for the Big Dipper his first time out. And the Kansas Chamberlain had put college basketball on notice. As word of his dominance spread, coaches across the country saw that their only hope was to slow the pace of the game and to guard Chamberlain with three or four men to try and keep the ball out of his hands. The stilt crams one-handed this time for two of his 39 points. And they gave that sort of like notion to all the rest of the schools around the country. If you're going to play this guy, you better just hold on to the ball. Even when the teams got behind by 10, 15, 20 points, they didn't worry about scoring. They're saying a 20-point loss to us was better than a 90-point than a loss. You understand? So they would just sit on the ball and hold the ball. It didn't work. Kansas won the conference title and was 21-2 and two when they traveled to Dallas to open the NCAA tournament against Southern Methodist. Dallas was segregated, and the KU team had to travel 25 miles from town to find a hotel. The game was tight throughout and went into overtime. Angry spectators screamed racial slurs at Chamberlain and teammate Maurice King. The next night, it was even worse. When Kansas played Oklahoma City, the game had to be delayed because of the debris on the court. KU players and cheerleaders were pelted with seat cushions and heated coins that were thrown from the stands. Kansas won the game to advance to the Final Four, then was given a police escort as they left Dallas. In the Final Four in Kansas City, the Jayhawks faced two-time defending national champion San Francisco in the semifinal. Chamberlain scored 32 points as Kansas cruised to an 80-56 win. It set up the most anticipated game of the year, number one North Carolina against number two Kansas. By the time it was over, it was considered the greatest college game that had ever been played. You know, two great teams, it, it, the setting couldn't have been any better. Uh, here was North Carolina, had won 30 some games in a row, and Kansas with a great player, the greatest player in the country. Uh, so it, it was an ideal confrontation for the national championship. No fight about the tap off. Will Chamberlain of Kansas bats it to Ron Lineski as the Jayhawks battle undefeated North Carolina for the NCAA championship. That's Wilt the Still in the pivot. He doesn't miss. Still, the underdog Tar Heels have some pretty fine players, too. Their All-America Lenny Rosenbluth is good from the outside. Both teams are playing mighty careful ball in this first half, for they're both recognized as the two top college teams in the land. North Carolina took the lead in the first half, then held the ball to slow down the game and keep Chamberlain from scoring. It was 29 to 22 at halftime but Kansas battled back to force a tie and send the game into overtime. But it rolls off the hoop and the seven-foot Chamberlain rebound. Watch Wilt loaf into position in the post. He's a tall citizen. Two more points for Kansas. I'll never in my life forget the kind of noise levels that seemed to take place in that auditorium when we'd get ahead and it looked like we had a chance to win. But it was a tremendous roller coaster. We had one overtime where I don't think a point was scored. The game remained tied at 48 all, forcing a third overtime. With seven seconds left, North Carolina hit two free throws to take a one point lead. Kansas inbounded the ball, then called timeout with five seconds left. 
they drew up the final play. Forward Ron Lineski would pass the ball to Chamberlain for a game-winning shot. We'd give him the ball, he'd turn over and face the basket, and Wilt was to move from one side of the basket to the other. Which would take me right to the basket for a chance to score very easily. And uh, he said, just allow the ball over to Wilt and, uh, you know, and, we'll take it, and we'll take it from there. Five seconds left to play. Lineski fires the ball in, tries to get it to Chamberlain, can't the ball. And, and Johnny didn't have any trouble getting the ball into Ron, but for some reason, Lineski got a little bit out of position and wasn't able to get the pass away to Chamberlain as he in, had intended to do so. And it was intercepted by Joe Quigg of North Carolina. And so the, the Tar Heels end up with the ball and, and that's the ball game. Kansas never gets that last shot off. You, you know, it was, it was really very hard for me to take as, as a, as, as a young man who everybody expected so much from uh, to come up a loser. In fact, I even got a tag as being a loser because we lost uh, that, uh, uh, that particular game. But it was uh, the most devastating thing that ever happened to me in sports, the triple overtime one point, which I thought that we had almost had won you know, a number of times.